Ever found yourself gasping for breath after a short sprint or a strenuous workout? That's a common occurrence. But what if this shortness of breath, known as dyspnea, happens while you're at rest or during minimal activity? This could be a sign of an underlying issue that needs attention. Dyspnea is more than just a result of overexertion. It's a complex symptom that can be caused by a variety of medical conditions ranging from mild to severe. The most common culprits are respiratory and cardiac conditions. Respiratory causes include conditions like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, asthma, pneumonia, and lung cancer. These conditions affect the lung's capacity to take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide, leading to the sensation of not getting enough air. Cardiac causes, on the other hand, pertain to the heart's ability to pump blood effectively. Conditions such as heart failure, arrhythmias, and coronary artery disease can lead to dyspnea. When the heart can't pump enough blood to meet the body's demands, it results in shortness of breath. But it's not just these two systems that can lead to dyspnea. Conditions like anemia, where there aren't enough red blood cells to carry oxygen, can also cause shortness of breath. Even anxiety and panic disorders can manifest as dyspnea. Identifying dyspnea involves a multi-step process. It begins with a medical history and a physical examination. Healthcare providers will ask about the onset, duration and severity of the symptoms. They'll also want to know if anything makes the breathlessness better or worse. This information can help in narrowing down potential causes. Further tests may also be necessary. These could include blood tests, chest x-rays or lung function tests. Each of these tests provides different pieces of information, helping to build a clear picture of what's going on inside the body. Once a cause has been identified, treatment can begin. This typically involves medications to manage the underlying condition. For instance, asthma might be treated with bronchodilators and anti-inflammatory drugs, while heart failure might require diuretics and ACE inhibitors. In addition to medications, oxygen therapy might be necessary in severe cases. This involves delivering oxygen directly into the airways, helping to alleviate shortness of breath. Lifestyle changes are also a crucial part of managing dyspnea. This might involve quitting smoking, losing weight, or increasing physical activity. Each of these changes can help to improve lung function and reduce the severity of dyspnea. In conclusion, dyspnea or shortness of breath is a complex symptom with a wide range of causes. It can be a sign of a serious underlying condition, making it important to seek medical attention if you're experiencing unexplained or persistent breathlessness. The good news is, with the right diagnosis and treatment, dyspnea can be managed effectively, improving quality of life.